Hey y'all, how y'all doing? We are doing Bizarre Treats and Extreme Sports, Playing on the Edge. Okay. Um, this is on page 231. The following activities exist well off sports mainstream path. From 1,000 feet below ground to at least that high overhead, endorphin hounds risk it all in pursuit of epic moments. Did you know that? Epic moments. Okay. Swabbing the Swabby. Okay. Swabbing the Swabby. Water or sea jousting. Oh my God. Water or sea jousting captures all the action of medieval jousting without that sport's messy mauling, mauling and death. Oh my God. I never heard of this before, have you? Swabbing. The swabby, sea jousting, okay, sea jousting, never heard of it, ever, that's why, look, on my uh, Instagram, I got Sea jousting fewer than a hundred posts. So it's not just me. Even on Instagram, there's very little about uh, sea jousting. Mm -hmm. This is one post that got 44 likes. See, 44 likes, sea jousting, hashtag. It's crazy. <laughs> but here it is. It's an extreme sport. Playing on the edge, sea jousting. Um, let's see what else I can find on it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sea jousting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know why I just have FKA twigs um, in my mind. I love her song. Sea jousting. Um, I don't really see that much fencing or jousting anyway. Um, I just know in, you know, back in the day, you'd have this crazy man on a horse with a long stick and the other one in the opposite direction. They come at each other and hit each other on their shields on the horse to try to knock each other off. So dumb. So here we go. See jousting. And it came up water jousting. Water jousting. Water jousting is a sport practiced principally in France and also Switzerland and Germany. Uh, it's a form of a jousting where the adversaries carry a lance, that's the stick, and protected only by a shield, stand on a platform on the stern of a boat. Oh my. God, the boat is propelled by oarsmen, or in some cases, a motor may be used. This is what it looks like, y'all. Dumb. See that? What's wrong with people? I don't know. 
The aim of the sport is to send the adversary into water whilst maintaining one's own balance on the platform. This is very dangerous because on water, it is unstable. That thing is rocking. Mm. Okay. Nevertheless, they call it swabbing in here. Okay. Um. Nevertheless, it features fearsome competitors such as the unrootable Casimir Castado. Okay. Casimir Castaldo. Okay, that's okay. Casimir Castaldo. And it spelled it right. Hello. While it's bringing it up, let's stretch. Keep your head to the sky. All right, Casimo. Casimiro. Let's see. Um, no, no, no. I don't think they have it. Let's try the first pick. They don't really have a picture of this man. Um, they got some good looking men on here though. Mm. Mm -mm. This is not one though. Look at him. No. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's a no for me. Oh, this still remind me of someone. I ain't gonna say who it is. <laughs> Look at them ears. <laughs> Look at them ears, them ears, them hairlines. Who is this? Mm. He's an evangelical. Um, he's a Christian. Oh my God! Oh my God! He looks like um, a Slovenian type of a, a person. There is somebody that I I know. Who looks just like this. Especially look at them ears. Them ears and the way that side of that head come down to them ears. Oh yes honey. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to share this here on Facebook because I'm messy. I'm going to see what other folks say. <sighs> Who this look like? L L O L Ah ha ha. Who this? Who that? Post. I'm telling you, honey. Mm mm. Okay, so let's look at, uh, let's see if we can find anybody getting back. Now, I'm pulling up this guy because don't it look like he's doing the sea jowls thing? See that? He looks like he's doing the sea jowls thing. Let me see what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's happening. You would think that everybody that does the sea jowls is little. Oh, he's a biggie, ain't he? He's a big one. Lord have mercy. Oh, see, here we go. Here we go. Look. Are they coming? Look at that. Oh, dangerous. Do you hear me? I told you it's dangerous. This is dangerous. This is not. Um, look at this. See that? 
horrible. I imagine people can really get hurt to doing this. Let's see this one. Only 566 views, too. Let's say Louis. I hope you parlez vous en français, monsieur. Mademoiselle, madame. He's one of the sea jousters. He's explaining the pictures that I showed you previously. Okay, let's skip ahead. I'm going to put uh, Très Magnifique. Très Magnifique. Sign the flower. Okay. This was in 2013. Amazing, right? Dangerous, right? That's why I love this book, right? <laughs> Love this book. You got to get your copy at Amazon.com. Okay, so that was uh, Casimir. That was Casimir Castaldo. And, oh, I like his name. It just sounds tasty. Let's see. Um, Vincent Cayani. He is considered the man of a hundred vic victories. Okay, let's find him. Now, the other one that I showed you, Casimir Castaldo, he is considered ungrootable. That means you can't push him over. But look how big he is. Who's going to push him over? Okay. Okay, so no, this is not it. Vincent. Okay, let's see. C I A N N I. Uh uh. Looks like there's a, okay, there is a photographer. He's a documentary photographer by the same name. I want uh, the one that does swabbing. Hey, um, sea jouster. Let's see if we can bring him up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. No, they don't really have no information on him. Not when it comes to uh, sea jousting the man. So let's just go ahead. Um, if you're in Italy watching this, maybe you can send us some information on this guy. Maybe you guys have resources that we don't. So it says, uh, for sea jousting, the drill is simple. Two boats are rowed toward each other. When helms, when helm, 
nears him, competitors perch on protruding platforms, draw their lances, and get busy. The last one standing gets the girl at least, or at least a moment of glory. And the vanquished, the poor wet critter gets to joust another day. Their words, not mine. Okay. See that? Critter. <laughs> not my words. <laughs> Get this book, man. Okay. The sport dates to at least 2780 BC. Egyptian base bass reliefs from that time depict nautical jousts that may have been a genuine form of warfare. So dumb, man. Okay. The most prestigious event is the Tournament de la Saint-Louis held in Sete, France. That's what I'm coming up with. Every August. Okay. So that's why. And Sete looks very beautiful. I can tell you that. It looks very beautiful. Ten things to do in Sete that you shouldn't miss. Uh, nature attractions in SETI. It's very cool. It's very pretty. See that? Hmm. You see, it's right off the water. Okay. So, so let's look that up. I already got C. Jousting. I'm going to take Vincent's name off. SETI. And. August. Let's see if they have an upcoming event. August 2020. This is the most prestigious event in SETI, France, every August. Since 1743, it has attracted hordes of enthusiastic fans who come to see their least favorite competitors bumped off. Yep. All right. Okay. Office of Tourism and SETI. Okay. August 20th, Festival and Water Jousting. I'm trying to look at the, because uh, they've got the St. Louis Festival, um, but that posting is 2017, 2019. Okay, August 20th, Festival in Water, Jousting at SETI. So this is the upcoming event. Okay, visit FrenchWine.com. Okay, that's a good picture. Mm-hmm. The town of Seti celebrates its patron saint, St. Louis, to the rhythm of the traditional water jousting tournament. Street performances and numerous bars are bodegas, which invade the streets and the canals, a festive experience and an ideal opportunity to discover the wines of Pays Duc region. Each year, the six days of the festival, the St. Louis, the patron saint of Seti, attract tens of thousands of people. The spectacular water jousting tournaments enliven this. Venice of Le Duc, as though the, 19, though the 70 street performances in many bars are bodegas. Did you know that a bodega was a bar? Here it's a, a store. 
Don't miss the swim along the canal of Seti. And it's impossible to leave without trying the famous teal of Seti and octopus tarte, which is accompanied by a tourette. Gross. A pays diak wine, typical of the Itang Dang Thang era. August 20, 2020 in SETI. All right, there you have it. <sighs> Toodles.